Now, from your weather authority, here's Chief Meteorologist Dan Smith. Well, good Wednesday evening, San Angelo. This is what it looked like at 1.30 earlier this morning, and I'm just going to move off briefly because you're going to see all that lightning off towards the right-hand side of your screen, but then all the dust coming in. You see all of this coming into downtown as a result of those 70-mile-an-hour winds, or at least it was warned for that. We did officially record 65 miles an hour out at Mathis Field and plenty of lightning flashes. My goodness, what a light show. Not so much in the daytime. There is plenty of light for one thing, but 102 is uh, not our high for today. We actually did make a new record. Show you that in just a second, but the dew point probably had a hand in that. A little bit lower than we have been trending recently. It had been a little bit more humid, between 60 to 70 degrees for those dew points, so humidity, of course, following suit. The winds have calmed. They have subsided significantly uh, since yesterday, or at least earlier this morning, right around uh, 2 a.m. And, well, you see it here. We do have a new record high from high winds to high heat. 105 is the high for today. Now, that still isn't the hottest we even uh, reported. I believe this week uh, we had 107, I want to say, on Saturday. So that was pretty sizzling there. And I do believe that may have been a record as well. Some of the peak wind gusts that we had seen last night, though, 65 miles an hour at Mathis Field, Wall 55, and then it just kind of falls off from there. And this one's a little bit more curious. Goodfellow will be reporting about 36 miles an hour, despite the fact that they were a little bit closer to that storm. Practically nobody received any rainfall. I want to say it was uh, one of our viewers, uh, Deb Gill, had said something to the effect of uh, living up in Paul Ann neighborhood. She had nothing. Thing at the end of the driveway, but closer to home, she had about like three tenths of an inch or something like that. It was just one of those kinds of storms, folks. It just sits there, but moreover, all the, the gust front, all the wind rushing out from that storm was responsible for uh, certainly any damage that we might have seen across town. It seemed, though, like the bigger event, arguably, maybe not even a win, but the bigger event uh, seemed to be the one that had blown through even just a couple nights ago on Monday night and early, or uh, Sunday night and early Monday morning. Satellite and radar showing these clouds, and you are kind of look at this to see if there's going to be more storm development. As it stands right now, it's more relegated off towards the east. Alpine, Fort Stockton, your usual suspects out here firing up along the dry line. Still, we could have some more activity going on through the rest of the night. This is what this particular model updates hourly, shows us what's happening right now. Of course, that's not really a clear picture. Still, shows some extra signs of development. You see this right around 8 o'clock, trying to make inroads towards uh, further eastern counties, including Tom Green here. Really, we're only under the gun for the next few hours. I would argue it shouldn't be as much of a late night event as we had had both uh, Monday and as it turns out Wednesday morning but you know it's West Texas in June, folks. Anything could happen. Winning with the weather for this week, though, that is uh, certainly an anything could happen situation. Four pairs of tickets, or four pack of tickets to Schlitterbahn, four beach towels, and a $50 gas card to get you down to New Braunfels. Visit ConchaValleyHomepage.com. Enter to win. 74 degrees for tonight. Again, those scattered storms are expected a little bit early to the tune of 30%, holding on that 30% chance for tomorrow as well. 101, we're starting a very gradual downturn here in those temperatures. Saturday and Sunday, 97. Through the models of Bone Tuesday, 20% chance looks to be our next best uh, rain chance at that. After tomorrow, still looking at those on the board. Might have some more uh, storm activity coming in. Likely not as severe, but once again, it is June and we have the heat for it, so you always want to be prepared for anything. We'll be right back.